13-week theater is supported by Patreon. Subscribe now and get exclusive early access. My name is Alan King, and I've got a secret. Game shows were a staple of early television, just as they had been for radio, and one of the most popular formats was that of the panel quiz. Best exemplified by shows like To Tell the Truth, What's My Line, and I've Got a Secret, panel quizzes would have a celebrity panel, who would then have to guess some secret information about a contestant who won more money the longer it took for the panel to figure it out. In 1960, producers Don Lip and Bob Sines had an idea for a panel quiz. Inspired by face and hole boards that allowed tourists and resorts to have their picture taken in comical scenes, they came up with a game where celebrity panelists would have to guess what scene they had inserted themselves into. They called it, You're in the Picture. They assembled a celebrity panel consisting of Arthur Treacher, Jan Sterling, Pat Carroll, and a pre-tonight show Johnny Carson. Then all they needed was a host. The Cavalcade of Stars! Starring Jackie Gleason! And now, here he is, the star of our show, Jackie Gleason! Jackie Gleason had become a big star as the host of Cavalcade of Stars on the Dumont Network, which switched over to CBS in 1952 as The Jackie Gleason Show. Except for one season where Gleason spun off the most popular segment from his variety show as a sitcom in its own right, yeah, but you know that story. Gleason had been hosting the same variety show with the same characters and the same running gags for almost a decade before shutting the show down in 1959. Gleason was looking for a new challenge, a chance to show some of his versatility. Gleason jumped at the chance to host You're in the Picture and convinced CBS, with whom he'd worked for all those years, to take a chance on the show. Gleason's name also helped sell the show to Kellogg's, whose spokesman Dennis James came on board to do the show's live commercials. Liggett and Myers Tobacco signed on as alternate sponsor, and finally Johnny Olsen was hired as the show's announcer. And since the show wouldn't have a contestant like other panel quizzes did, the show started the tradition of celebrities performing on game shows for charity. Now, if they should guess a picture, we send 100 care packages in their name. If they should miss a picture, we send 100 care packages in my name. <laughs> So with this game, everybody wins, nobody loses. Everything was in place, but at least one person involved could see the writing on the wall. After rehearsals for the first show, Johnny Carson abruptly quit. Pat Carroll would later joke about Johnny knowing something the rest of them didn't. Comedian Pat Harrington Jr. took Johnny's seat on the panel, and TV history was about to be made. Gleason. You're in the picture with Jackie's guests, Jan Sterling, Arthur Treacher, Patricia Carroll, and Pat Harrington, Jr. And now, here's the head of our gallery, our catalyst, Jackie Gleason. From the very beginning, the show seemed off. Good group. <laughs> I want to thank you very much. As you noticed, Mr. Olson introduced me as a catalyst. 
for all of you people who don't know what a catalyst is, as soon as I look it up, I'll tell you. <laughs> now, we're ready we for the some... first game. Let's show the folks at home the picture. Gleason never seemed fully comfortable as a game show host and seemed frustrated that the format didn't really provide him with many chances to be funny. The puzzles were difficult, and the celebrities had very hard times making sense of what the picture might be or even what they were Hi, doing there. In. Now there is a motley group. This happens to be a historical event. And uh, as a clue, I might say that this is a slice of life. A what? A slice of life. Now, uh, we'll begin the uh, interrogation with you, Miss Carroll. Would I be considered or would I be allowed as a guest at the inaugural ball tonight? <laughs> I imagine you would, yes. Uh, would I be dressed in the modern costume? No, you wouldn't be dressed in a modern costume, no. Uh, is, am I uh, an individual uh, character in history? Well, you couldn't be a crowd. That's a cinch. <laughs> Eventually, Gleason would have to give the celebrities clues, a few of which were pretty much giving the game away. I'm sorry, your time is up. I'll give you another clue. Uh, this probably could be the first illustration of Yankee Go Home. Oh, I know, I know. You know what? Pocahontas. You're absolutely right. As the show went on, the pictures got harder, the celebrities got more frustrated, and Gleason got angrier. Uh, no, you're not. Uh, I, am, I am lower, I have a feeling, than everybody else. Am I kneeling? Mm, well, you're kneeling. Part of you is kneeling, and the other part of you is elbowing. A centaur? A centaur? Yeah. I'll talk to you after the show. Yeah. No, not a centaur. Uh, well, I'll give you another clue. Uh, this picture could be titled A Little French Dressing on the Side. <laughs> Is there, um, are we in a specific uh, place? Yes, you are. Is it a bar? No, it's not. Oh, is it a French bar? <laughs> What's the difference? Am I doing something to somebody else? Well, you've done something to everyone, but you have just finished doing something to someone. Let's see you get away with that. <laughs> uh, I am doing something to somebody. Well, you have just finished doing something to someone. Is, is this thing that I'm doing, does it give pleasure to the people I'm doing it to? No, I'm so sorry, I couldn't answer that. Um, uh, is she using the discus? Yes, she is. Uh, are, are there three of us involved in one scene? or? That's th right, three of you involved in one so scene. Would it be like three events? Three, uh... Separate, distinct events? Three statues, uh, isn't it? Uh, three, three statues, three yes. Statues. Yeah. I'm the discus thrower. That's then right. Find out who like, am I a weight thrower or something, and are we all aiming our stuff at her, at Pat Carroll? No, you're not. But we're not? No. It'd be funny, wouldn't it? Oh, yes, it is. Uncle David? There's no female. And such kind associated with this... How did I get mixed up with this? <laughs> and a hop and a puff and a blow your house down would it be the three pigs and the wolf. What was that? <laughs> You don't lock your doors and these people will get in and you huff and you puff the three little pigs with three little pigs in the wolf. And, and pigs can be seen. Oh, oh, shut your mouth. That isn't it at all. <laughs> no, it's not. At one point, he even admitted that the producer should have hired a different host. <laughs> That's why it's like this that you need John Daly. <laughs> Once the show was done, Gleason wanted to quit. He hated the show. He hated the concept. And he hated just the entire experience of hosting a game show. And he vowed to never host another one. Especially not a second episode of You're in the Picture. The producers and network, however, pointed out that Gleason had a 10-week contract with option for extension, and they had no intention of letting him out of it. And that's when things really got interesting. You see... The producers had a contract saying Gleason had to host a show for them, but it didn't specify what the show had to be. When the stage crew arrived for the second episode, Gleason took control and told them not to put the set up. 
Instead, he wanted the studio stripped to its bare walls with just a chair and a small table in the center of the stage. The panel arrived, confused about what was going on, and took seats in the wings, watching as the show started. And then Gleason took the stage. L&M Filter Cigarettes presents... Jackie Gleason. In what will probably prove to be a very unusual program. And now, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Jackie Gleason. What followed was essentially a half-hour ad-libbed apology for the show that aired the previous week. Ladies and gentlemen, I uh, think you'll notice that there is no panel tonight. <laughs> As a matter of fact, there's nothing here except the orchestra and myself. I'd like to modify that. There is one other thing. We have a creed tonight. And the creed is honesty is the best policy. Now, this program could be the most fascinating you'll ever watch. I know this, that it's the first of its kind. <laughs> and could very easily be the last. <laughs> last week, we did a show called You're in the Picture that laid, <laughs> without a doubt, the biggest bomb. I'm telling you, friends, that I've seen bombs in my day. <laughs> this would make the H-bomb look like a two-inch salute. <laughs> Since the contracts called for live commercials, Gleason obliged, giving heartfelt plugs for Liggett and Myers. Now, before we go any further to discuss this uh, catastrophe that took place last week, <laughs> and I'll get some dirtier words to explain it later. <laughs> I would like to tell you that tonight, our show is being brought to you by none other friends than L&M Filter Cigarettes. My choice for flavor. Now, unless you're smoking L&Ms, all you can do is imagine how good they taste. How much great flavor you can get from a filter cigarette. Not from just one L&M or two or a whole pack. But every time you light up, every time, L&M gives you that flavor. Now, I think you'll agree. So try my smoke, friends. Unlock some flavor. The next time, every time, reach for an L&M because they're the greatest. And now, back to the subject. <laughs> you know... Kellogg's, however... Gleason alienated them when he fell back on one of the running gags from his stage act. Oh, that's good coffee. Oh, it's good! Ooh. This is a new coffee called Chock Full of Booze. The Apology episode was every bit the smash hit that the original game concept wasn't. Viewership skyrocketed as people told friends to turn on Gleason they couldn't believe what was happening. And Liggett and Myers were so impressed that they bought out Kellogg's sponsorship, staying on as the full sponsor for the rest of the run. It really hurt here. But I have learned through just such... Are you saying 30 till we're finished or what? Yeah? Well, let me tell you something. This isn't uh, a requiem for a heavyweight. <laughs> I'm coming back next week. I don't know what we're going to do. But take my word for it. Tune in on the next chapter, because this might be the greatest soapless opera you've ever seen. <laughs> I would like to tell you that 
close, I'd like to close with this little poem. If I am in an easy chair with not a problem, not a care, should some dear faithful friend appear and tell me of a great idea, a TV show that seems a beaut, <laughs> I'll smack him right in the snoot. <laughs> Still bound by the contract, Gleason did return the following week. But this time, the show had been renamed The Jackie Gleason Show and consisted of Gleason sitting down for half an hour talking with his old friend and former co-star Art Carney. Later weeks would see Gleason going one-on-one -on -one with other friends and stars like Jane Mansfield and Bobby Darren. After March 24th, 10-week commitment completed and contract terms satisfied, Gleason walked away. For years, the actual episode of You're in the Picture was believed to be lost, and the apology episode could only be seen by appointment at the Bill Paley Center in New York. However, in recent years, a work print of both episodes has shown up and is currently found at the Internet Archive. As for the show itself, CBS wasn't quite ready to give up such a good thing. This is Jackie Gleason. As you see, I'm putting together another show for CBS starting this season on a Saturday night. We will have some of our old friends, Reggie Van Gleason, the poor soul, Joe the bartender, and uh, my good pal Art Carney will show up from time to time, the June Taylor dancers, and many new faces, including this new one, Sue Ann Langdon. How sweet it is. <laughs> oh, these are my writers. This is grueling work. Could I have some more hot coffee, please? The next year, they brought Gleason back as the host of the American Scene magazine, bringing back all of Gleason's famous characters, sketches, and guest stars every week. When it switched to color in 1966, it was once again retitled The Jackie Gleason Show and ran until 1970. In the end, the single episode of You're in the Picture proved to be just a bump on the long road of Gleason's career, and it was the ad-libbed apology episode, not the game show, that proved Gleason's versatility. <laughs> Cast off the ties of the prosaic world, give your imagination free reign. Ahead lies the Twilight Zone, next on most of these stations. Monkey.